thank you for watching Stay Fresh with Peanut tutorial how to soak and cure aroma beads. This is a scale that you, I bought on Amazon and I'm gonna press the unit until it says FL backslash ounce. I'm gonna then place my 32 ounce mason jar, hit the tear button so it subtracts the weight of the jar off of the scale. I'm having a little bit of problem so I'm turning it on and off making sure it reads zero and it's on the correct unit, which is FL backslash ounce, which stands for fluid or ounces. Then I'm gonna place the jar back on. It's gonna weigh the jar. It says 14.9 ounces. I'm gonna hit the tear button. The tear is gonna subtract the weight of the jar, lift the jar up, put it back down, and it should say zero. Perfect. Next, I'm gonna get the aroma beads and I'm gonna pour 12 ounces into this 32 ounce jar. Our ratio we like to use is four ounces of beads and one ounce of fragrance oil. So for every four ounce of beads, we use one ounce of fragrance oil. Since I'm pouring in 12 ounces of beads, we are gonna use three ounces of fragrance oil. You can find our aroma beads and fragrance oils on stayfreshwithpeanut.com. They soak up to 30%. They are deluxe premium beads and it does make a difference what quality beads you buy. So depending on where you're looking at your beads, just make sure they're a good quality bead. So we're gonna use coconut. We sell a lot of different fragrances. We're gonna pour three ounces of fragrance oil and the reason why I'm not pouring the beads all the way to the top is because the beads need room to swell because you're gonna be shaking that around. Um, and if you pour the beads all the way to the top, they don't have enough room to shake around, okay? So that's very important. I wouldn't recommend um, if you're using a smaller mason jar, just make sure don't pour your beads all the way to the top. Now, you're ready. That's totally normal to see that much oil in your jar. You're gonna shake it, 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 okay? The more you shake, the faster it's going to absorb all the oil and we can get going on the curing process. Now, this is not count as day one, okay? The beads are stuck to the side. This does not count as day one as your curing process. Um, we shake at least twice a day, if not more, but at least a minimum of twice a day. So you don't wanna let it just sit there and it'll take forever. Once you see your beads, you see how this jar is right here? This jar, the beads are no longer sticking to the side of the jar. That's when the curing process starts. So when the beads are no longer sticking, you're gonna start day one. We let our beads um, sit for at least 10 days and that's how you know when to start day one. See, you hear some beads in another jar. They shouldn't stick at all. That's how you know the beads absorb all the fragrance oil. Now I'm gonna show you a jar, what the jar is gonna look like once it does absorb all the fragrance oil. And this is 12 ounces of beads to three ounces of fragrance oil. And you see how full it is? That's the reason why we don't fill it all the way to the top in a 32 ounce jar or any other size jar you use. Just don't fill it all the way to the top. You wanna leave enough room. I'll have another tutorial how to make a freshie. We just wanted to make a tutorial how to soak and cure a row of beads. And that's it. So again, guys, make sure you leave enough room. Um, four ounces of beets and one ounces of oil. Mark, make sure you put the name of the fragrance oil and the date that you start on top so you don't forget. I put it on a label. You can put it on a piece of tape uh, because you're gonna keep reusing these jars. And then um, here's some freshies that Peanut made. These are freshies that have glow in the dark powder. We sell this on our website. We have all different colors orange, blue, aqua, pink, green. These are really popular. Look how vibrant that is. Here's some Thanksgiving and fall freshies. We also sell vent clip freshies. You can buy the vent clips on our website to make vent clip freshies. These are some cute Hello um, Kitty ones. Um, a dog mom freshie, so if you're that dog mom. Halloween, really cute. You can use glitter, so if you have glitter, we use glitter on our freshies. Pigment, we love pigment. 
that gives it that nice vibrant color. And here's Peanut showing off his favorite freshies. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll see you next time.